everyone, I'm Rachel. In today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a Weta Pop Art Portrait using the Color Therapy app. A Weta Pop Art Portrait, or WPAP, is a native Indonesian pop art genre. It's defined by bright, flat color fields with straight lines and edges placed on the face to create dimension without shading. Find this image under People Modern Short Hairstyle. I recommend going to find a reference. So if you go onto Google, look for WPAP, and you'll find something like this. Here's another example below that. So you can tell there's a lot of geometric flat color planes on the face, and those color planes are representing the highlights and the shadows. So the widest part of the face is where it's the lightest, and the darker colors, like the purples, are gonna be your shadows. Let's begin by drawing some geometric lines across the face as a guide first. Let's use the pen tool size one and opacity at 50. Open up the color palette. Under Lullaby, those are some really good colors to use. I would just select a basic pink. And now I'm using that Adele portrait as a reference to see where I'm going to place those lines. So um, I'm just imagining that the light is going to be coming from the top left side shining down. So her face will be lighter on the left side and a bit darker on the right side. So you want to start off by drawing the biggest shapes first. Now coming from the eye, we're going to have a triangle that comes all the way down. And then it's going to just veer off to towards the chin like that. And then under the nose, we're going to kind of just show where the cheekbone is in a way with a line going up and then another one kind of going towards the temple. And we're going to draw a little a line under the chin and the lips just coming down like that and maybe another one next to that. It's going to be really dark right here on this side of the nose. So let's just draw a line here. It can be a little bit messy. It's OK. And another box right there. And you can bring a line from the upper lip towards the nose and another line coming down in the middle of the nose and one underneath there. And the nose is gonna be really dark right under the tip of the nose and where the nostril is, you can draw some lines there, breaking it up. And then maybe some triangular lines coming down on the nose. And then we'll have a bit of a highlight just right underneath the eye. I'm just drawing a triangle. So now I'm just continuing to break up a bunch of geometric shapes where I think the highlights or the low lights would be. Again, just continue to look back and forth at a reference that's very similar to your face angle. Once you feel confident with those lines, you can begin to color it. So let's set the pen tool now to size 20 and opacity at 100. Again, I'm using the Lullaby palette, just that really bright pink. And I'm going to begin to just color in that biggest shape first on the jaw. Now you really want to make sure that all of your lines are very straight because they're going to be geometric. So you want to make sure they're very clean. So what you want to do then is lower the pen tool as needed and clean up those lines, make them very straight and geometric. Make sure also you're doing this with coloring inside the lines mode set to on. Again, going back to my reference, I am using these colors in her face and just applying them to my portrait as well. So right under the nose is another bright pink, and then we have some pink on the lips as well. Under the Dark Shades palette, I'm using the darkest purple, and that's going to be for my shadows. I also like some of the shades from the Summer palette. For example, I'm using that bright orange to color in this area right here by the mouth. And then that lighter orange next to it. So just continue coloring in all of those blocks. This bright green from the Summer Palette is really good for really bright highlights. I'm also using a turquoise and a green from the Dark Shades Palette for other shadows. Now for the eye, you can just color in the pupil with a black and then you could use a very light blue or medium light blue for the whites of the eyes and maybe a medium blue for the eye. And then you want to go back to the pen tool and you need to trace over all of those black lines, but make them geometric. So turn off coloring inside the lines mode. I'm using about size one pen and opacity 100 and I'm going to trace the eye, but anywhere where I see a curve like right here, there's going to be an angle. So bring it straight, the line just straight up and then straight down. And same thing with the eyeball shape. So we're just going to trace that circle and kind of bring it down into almost like a hexagonal shape. The pupil as well. So everything needs to look geometric. And you just apply that to the rest of the portrait, including the hair and the neck. You can easily apply these steps to other portraits as well, or even draw one of yourself on the blank pages by just making any highlights or shadows on your face into geometric shapes. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.